How's it going, everybody? Now, I know this may look a little bit weird. Um, well, actually, right here, it doesn't look very weird. But anyways, this is kind of weird. I've got three microphones on here, and I've also got a shotgun mic up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of do a little test on this, this Allen & Heath board. I'm going into my Studio One on my, my laptop through USB. So here's the USB going to my Studio One on my laptop. And I'm going to do things a little bit differently because I'm going to I'm going to run these, which are the the Sennheiser WDS wireless microphones. So you can see this is a receiver here, this is a receiver here, and then I've got the two transmitters for those receivers here. So and then I've also got my um, my Mayano lavalier mic or lapel mic. Sure, yeah, it's this one. And then I've got my shot, shotgun mic in that one. So I've got all these mics going. Right now, I'm only recording through the the stereo mics on my Zoom Q2N. So that's what you're hearing right now. That's all you're going to hear. Um, but I will be placing some of these sound signatures in there too, these, these signals. So I just wanted to kind of, wanted you to hear what the stereo mics on the Q2N sound like. They really phenomenal sound for for a built-in microphone on a camera. So if you know if that's what you're looking for, which this is a perfect musician's mic, if you're just doing an acoustic guitar, you know, you wanted to record something there, the perfect camera for you. A little bit more expensive than some of the, like the little cheap GoPros and stuff, uh, some of the knockoff GoPros, but it's, it's well worth it. Very, very good camera, 4K. So if that tells you anything, it's got plenty of settings on it. You'd love it, trust me. All right, anyways, getting away from the cameras. By the way, I'm also recording on my Caso. That's what's got my this this camera here. So um, what we're gonna do? I'm going to unmute my first microphone here, and then I'm gonna bring the sound up, the levels up on it real quick. So let's see. I'm gonna bring this up. Okay. So now I'm recording on my. This is the first Sennheiser WDS, and just in case you didn't know, that is this system here. I'm not going to do a review on it, but this is the, the wireless lapel microphone set. So this is a wireless digital set, um, Sennheiser, um, 200 bucks for these things. It's a really great little set. This is the, uh, this is the transmitter, USB-C charging, has a little light on it if I wanted to mute it. Press it to unmute it. Good to go. Does have the screw on uh, Sennheiser core. Uh, I'm sorry, 3.5 millimeter TRS. Or, I'm sorry, yeah, TRS. Um, so standard. It uses the ME2, the Sennheiser ME2 microphone. Pretty good microphone from what I've understood. I have. I don't have everything is set right now at at the minimum. So I, I didn't do any EQing or anything like that on this. As you can see, everything is set straight up and down. Nothing has any kind of any things to it. So the way that's going right now, I'm going to go ahead and take that out of there and I'm going to bring that up to where we can see it on the on the thing here. It's, it's still recording. So this USB goes in. So anyways, we got our levels there. So that's about, um, we're setting it at uh, zero d dB again right there to get up to, yeah, it's right about up zero. And I've got my mic preamp set at about, um, about 35 dB, so plus 35 dB on the mic preamp. So again, that's the Sennheiser with the ME2. Now what I'm going to do, let me, I'm, I've got a, I've never done this before. This is a brand new board, so I'm going to go ahead and see if everything pops. Okay, I got a little bit of a pop there, nothing big, so let's keep that going. Now we're going to go ahead and go with the second one, which is the this one is going to have this microphone on it. And this is the Rode Lavalier Go. Oops, stuck to my finger there. This is the white one. So as you can see, this is pure white, tiny, tiny little microphone. So that's this one. So let's go ahead and bring that one up and do a test on it real quick. Okay, that one I've got at um, ooh, about 45 dB and uh, of gain and then my uh, levels on my on the channel are set at about um, probably plus three to five dB. So let me go ahead and arm that track. 
Test, 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 check, check, check. Oh, I'm a little bit hotter on that one, so let me bring that one down. So the level is, oops, wrong one. I can't do that there. Test, test, okay. So, and a little bit more. Now, so right now the, the levels are about the same on my DAW for recording these two channels. One's at about 35 dB again, the other's at about 38 to 40 dBs again, dB again. Um, and they're both on zero on the level. So that should be okay there. So let's go ahead and move on now. So I've got uh, phantom power going to my lapel microphone, which is this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring that one up too, and we'll see what that does. That one right now has nothing. So I had to bring that one up to almost, uh, probably about 55 dB. Um, and this is the, the Mayano lapel microphone. So it is a condenser microphone, but again, I had to bring up the, the level pretty high to get that one in there. So. Anyways, it is where it is. So that one's got the 48 volt phantom power to it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and bring up my shotgun microphone. So give me a second here. Check, check, test, 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 test. Okay, so now I've got all of the levels on all the microphones pretty close to about the same, depending on how I've got my head facing and all that kind of stuff. Uh, unfortunately with lapel microphones, if you change your head, you know, you're gonna get different uh, different levels, different whatever. Um, so it's going to sound different. The shotgun microphone is pointing pretty much directly. It's kind of pointing to my right shoulder, but I'm not going to change that right now. So, um, but anyways, and I'll show you a little bit of that in here in a few minutes just to see, but I just wanted to do a little test of this, of the uh, Allen and Heath board. Again, I've got the two Sennheiser WDS systems. Then I've got the Mayano um, lapel uh, condenser microphone. And to be honest with you, I, I can't remember what my, I think it's the, the newer, um, I believe it's the newer shotgun microphone and it does have the big fox tail on it to, uh, for wind noise and stuff. I just keep it on there because sometimes my air conditioner comes on. T today I wanted to keep it this way so that they all sound the same and you can hear what, um, what the room sounds like. I have a TV going in the background. I wanted to see if you could hear that. Uh, again, I am recording on all my cameras and everything at the same time, so um, I've got my levels, I've got my, my uh, main at Unity. Um, I've, I've pretty much, you know what, I could probably put all of these at Unity and not, not, not be anything going on there. So, But uh, again, so the two Sennheisers are about 40 decibels, 30, 38 to 40 decibels of gain. The uh, Mayano shotgun mic, I mean, correct, correction, the, the Mayano lapel mic is at about 55 dBs again. And the, um, the Neewer shotgun mic is at 40 dB again. And all the levels are, are pretty much right on with recording. So um, again, I, I, I'm not testing on the camera, so I don't know what the levels are in that. I can't see those right now. So um, we're just going to go with that. But anyways, I wanted to show you these. I wanted to let you hear them. We're going up a little bit hot there, so I'm not sure where. Probably this, uh, the, probably the Mayano, because uh, that's the one I turned up just a second ago. So, <clears throat> but uh, anyways, they they all seem to seem to be doing pretty good. I, I will later probably do a little bit of EQing on these later and, and see what they sound like uh, when I record through through this board and everything. But right now, I'm not worried too much about it. Um, I'm, I want you to hear what they sound like. I probably will do a little bit at the end where I will EQ all of them to make them sound as best as I possibly can um, through Studio One, which is the DAW that I use. Uh, I am using a Toshiba laptop, uh, nothing special. Uh, again, it's USB. Uh, this is the Allen Heath ZI-10 uh, ZI mixer. Um, the I is, of course, the interface for the USB. Pretty good little thing, uh, has four um, XLR inputs and then two other channels that you can plug things into and, and you know run those through. It does have uh, aux in. You do have your choice of how you want to record through USB. You can either record through all four channels like I'm doing now or you can record um, mic one, mic two, an aux and an effects or you can record mic one, mic two and a left and right. So uh, the two the two inputs and then the stereo output. So you can have those three choices. Then again, you could also record uh, like on my Tascam, which I could do that at any time. I've got the Tascam uh, DR60 Mark II. Um, I could record straight into that in a stereo pair. It's got your XLR outputs or your um, your quarter inch outputs. I think you can use the aux and the FX out if you wanted to use those. But anyways, um, 
pretty pretty good little board it seems. Oh, and by the way, you do have a choice. You can put any of the, I'm sorry, you can put the first two as instruments. So if you wanted to plug a guitar into channels one and two, um, you could just uh, set push that button right there and it will take an, an instrument level or a guitar level uh, input. So you could, you could plug directly into that and not have to worry about uh, the impotence, um, the, the resistance. I think it's the resistance uh, that you'd have to worry about. But um, uh, it does have low cut and it does have um, high filter, mid filter, low filter on the EQ. Uh, you've got your aux send and then you've got an effects and a pan. Um, now the effects is your effects in which, uh, of course, uh, yeah, I'm not sure how you do that. I, I have, I don't do effects, so I'm not really worried about that. But uh, or maybe that's aux out or effects out. Yeah, that's your effects out. I'm guessing. So that would go through like, like if you put a uh, uh, something that I don't know how you would get it back in. But anyways, that's that's how you do that. So and then it's got pan, and then your 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 this would be your fader in a way. So yeah, uh, it does have stereo mix and stereo mix on these two channels. So. Um, that's a pretty much about it. Uh, I don't really see a whole lot to this. You do have choices of monitors, which how you monitor it through the headphones, um, stuff like that. So there's a couple little options there. Um, not a whole lot to this board. It's pretty simple. I'm going to use it to do my little recording thing. Um, as you can see, I've got my studio behind me. So this is going to be to, I'm planning on recording wedding vows for people. So I'm going to use this setup to do that. I've got a few of these and I'm going to get a couple more um, to do different things with and uh, put a couple of hidden cameras up there. So that's what I plan on doing. I just wanted to, so I don't know how much of that I lost. Um, but anyways, we do have the recording on the camera, so I'm not going to worry too much about that either. You did get to hear some of the, the vocals through the microphones, so that's not a big deal there either. Uh, again, I'm going to do this um, this little bit this here at the end so I can EQ everything so you can see how that sounds. So I'm going to go with this. This is the Allen & Heath ZI-10 um, USB 6-channel, or they call it a 10-channel board, which is four... XLR mic inputs and two stereo channels and then two stereo outputs. Um, these are my Sennheiser WDS wireless digital lapel, lapel or lavalier mic systems. I've got two of those. One is using the M Sennheiser ME2 microphone. The other is using the Rode Lavalier Go. And I've got my Mayano condenser lapel microphone. And then I'm using my newer shotgun microphone. So um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Please leave comments in the comment section and please like if you like and subscribe if you'd like to do that. So anyways, I will see you guys later. I'm hoping that this is a good enough video to where uh, it gets a little bit of uh, information out there that you guys may want to know. And uh, if not, well, just enjoy it. Have a good one. All right. Take it easy, guys. Bye.